Hi there, my name is Chris Winter and welcome to my short tutorial for Shopify for this year. Now I've already made a full tutorial which goes for around about an hour, but in this tutorial I'm going to go over the basics and we'll try and get it done in around about 10 minutes. Now guys, as always, I'd highly recommend that you work on your website at the same time as you watch this video. So if you haven't done it yet, you can actually get a full free trial with Shopify for 14 days. I'll put a link in the description box below under this video. Click on that and you can go and sign up. You don't even need to put a credit card in or anything like that, just your email address and you can get started uh, in just about a minute. So do that now and we'll jump into this short tutorial. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is click the link in the description box below under this video and it will take you to the Shopify sign up page. And like I said before, you don't even have to put your credit card details or anything in, just your email address. So let's get started. Chris W at gmail.com. And then once you're here, you can have a password for your website, make it nice and secure, and then your store name. So mine's gonna be called Outdoor Wilderness Gear. And then you can click Create Store. Okay, so next up it's gonna ask you a few questions. These aren't super important. And then you've got some information that you'll need to put in. And once you've done that, you can enter your store and we'll get into the good stuff. And as you can see right now, we're at your dashboard. This is the main part of Shopify where you're gonna be logging into every day. On the right here, we have our sales breakdown stats. So once you get a sale, we're gonna see that we have all of the uh, sales figures right now. On the left here, we have your menu. And in the middle, you've got some information to start off with. Shopify also have some nice training as well, if you wanna check that out later on. So on the left here, we have our orders section. This is gonna allow you to see the daily orders and all of the information about your customers. We've got products, and this is where we'll add a product, and we'll do this in just a little bit. You've got some more information right here, but generally you're just gonna be hitting up the all products section. If you go to customers, you're gonna be able to see all of the information about your customers and get in touch with them. And also you'll be able to see people who accept marketing and who don't accept email marketing. Next up, we have our analytics section. This is essentially your statistics. So you'll be able to see your total sales, uh, online store sessions, so how many people are actually coming to your store, your returning customer rate, and your conversion rate, and things like that. So this can be a great way to really get a good overview of what's actually happening on your website. In the marketing section, this is relatively new. This is gonna allow you to create Facebook and Google ads. This is a little bit more in depth, so we won't cover this in this quick tutorial, but I'll make a video about this later on. In the discount section right here, we can create discount codes. Uh, so we can uh, maybe do a buy one, get one free discount code, or we could create like a Black Friday discount code. And you can share this out with your fans and then they can get a discount on your products. We also have the app section and the app store, which allows you to plug in apps, uh, which really allows you to really get some great features on your website, which aren't in the standalone Shopify site. So we'll take a look at them later on. And then down here, we have our sales channels. Today, our sales channel is the online store. We've got themes, which allows you to change different themes or templates on your website. Blog posts, which allows you to create a blog post. Pages, which are standalone pages, like your contact us page, uh, your shipping policies, return policies, things like that. Navigation, which is your menus. So essentially your main menu and your footer menu. Domains, which allows you to create a domain name. And then you've also got preferences down here, which is essentially your uh, SEO preferences, uh, your meta description, and also if you've got things like a Facebook pixel or Google Analytics code. At the bottom here, we have a setting section, which is definitely something we'll take a quick look at. As you can see right here, we have all of the different information that you can change. Uh, you can change your tax rates, your payment providers, so whether you're gonna be uh, getting paid through someone like Stripe or Shopify Pay, or through PayPal, which is something you might be aware of. You've got your shipping rates. You can customize your checkout. And then you've got things like billing as well which is something we'll take a look at now. But first up, what we're gonna do is add a product. Okay, so to add a product, essentially all you need to do is go add product, and then you've got your title right here. So as we've got an outdoor camping uh, site, essentially, we're gonna create a uh, camping tent, and we'll call it a midnight green camping tent. 
Down here we have our description section. So this is a great camping tent that will keep you dry in the winter. And then what we can do is add an image. So let's just upload one. We have our tent here and that's uploaded. We can also have a pricing. So let's say we're gonna charge $200 for this tent. You can include taxes as well. Now we have 10 in stock. And then if we click save right here, you can see that if we click view here, that we now have our tent that we can now add to cart and even buy it if we want to. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is go to online store and set up our website, how it looks. So what we're gonna do for this is go to themes, which are our right here. We have the debut theme, which we're currently using. What we can do is click on explore free themes because Shopify comes with a number of different free themes. And you'll see that we have a number of different themes here that we can actually use. I think today we're gonna to use the Brooklyn theme. So all you need to do is click add Brooklyn. Then what you can do is scroll down. You can click on actions and then publish. And you'll see now that Brooklyn will be published. So if we go to our website here by clicking on this little eye, you will now see that Brooklyn is our theme. We have a number of different sections here, which allow you to really customize the site. So to customize it, let's click edit homepage at the bottom here. And you can see on the left here, we have a number of different sections. So we can adjust our header, which is at the top here. You can adjust the slideshow, which is this hero banner. We have a rich text section, a collection list, a featured collection, and there's our product that we actually just had before, and then a newsletter. So let's keep it relatively simple because this is a quick tutorial. I think what we wanna have is a slideshow and then maybe we want to have a newsletter. And then also let's have a featured product. So let's go add, select product. And then we have the midnight green camping tent. Click select, go back. And what you can actually do is move this above the newsletter, which is really quite good. Okay, so now I want to add a photo to this slideshow. We can go right here on the left, click select image, upload an image, and I've got this photo right here. As you'll see, it will start to upload. You can click select, and now we have a nice background image. What I'm gonna do is add some text. And you can see now we have our slideshow and a shop now. We'll add a slide link and we'll go to collections, all collections. So if we click save now, and we'll jump back, you can actually see that our website is really starting to come together. We have our logo up here, which is auto-generated. We have our menu. We have our main hero image with our text and our shop now link. We have our tent, which we can add to cart. And then we have our newsletter. We should probably change this right here. So let's just jump back again. We're gonna click up here on the top. Go to newsletter. You can see that that just got updated. So again, we'll click save. And let's just have a quick look again. And the website's really coming together. One other thing that I do wanna mention is that if we go to the header section, we've actually got an announcement bar, which we can also have, which is this right here. So if I click on this and say, free shipping on orders over $100, now people will be able to see that we've got free shipping. Let's just change this to a brownie color. And you can see it's right there. So that looks really good. And again, let's just have a quick look at our website by clicking this button here. It really is looking quite nice in under about five minutes. So if we wanna create a discount, you can go to this discount section. You can create a discount code. So Black Friday is coming up, so we can type in a Black Friday 
discount code, which is what you would share with your customers. And let's say everyone who types this in will get 30% off. You can also change it to a fixed amount, a free shipping amount, or a buy one, get one free. And what we're gonna do is limit this to one customer, uh, one use per customer, click save discount. And there we go. Now when people enter this on the checkout, they'll get 30% off their order. So there you go guys, we've now got a website up and running in about 10 minutes. You can definitely do a lot of really great things with Shopify in a short period of time. If you do wanna have a much more in-depth tutorial, definitely check out my full tutorial. It goes into a lot more detail, but this was just to show you that you can get a website up and running in around about 10 minutes. Pretty good, and uh, you should definitely do this with your own Shopify site. So there you go guys, that was a quick tutorial on Shopify. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.